Hi, my name is Ariel Leong, and I'll be talking about my efforts to improve the CHIA method of transcription factor enrichment analysis by integrating more datasets. So many studies compare gene expression between normal and diseased cells and tissues. They identify genes with differential expression between the two states and subject them to gene set enrichment analysis. The idea is to learn about a disease by examining the genes that it perturbs. One kind of gene set enrichment analysis is transcription factor enrichment analysis, pioneered by the Mayan lab and implemented in an algorithm called CHIA, which stands for ChIP-seq enrichment analysis. CHIA takes as input a list of differentially expressed genes and outputs a list of likely transcription factors that are causing the differential gene expression. So these are two prior publications of CHIA. The CHIA database is composed of ChIP-CHIP and ChIP-seq experiments, which produce lists of genes that a certain protein binds to and presumably interacts with. So these are target gene lists for transcription factors. The first step of CHIA enrichment analysis is to compute the Fisher's exact test p-value between the input list of differentially expressed genes and every target gene list in the CHIA database. The Fisher's test is a statistical test for overrepresentation. So the resulting list of p-values is ranked, and CHIA, which is currently a library and enricher, outputs the transcription factor experiments with the lowest p-values. The idea is that if a low p-value is computed between a transcription factor experiment and the input gene list, then the transcription factor targets are overrepresented in the input gene list, and the transcription factor associated with the experiment likely regulated the gene expression of the input genes. So other libraries can be used in transcription factor enrichment analysis besides CHIA. For example, there is more ChIP-seq data from ENCODE, the Encyclopedia of DNA Elements, gene expression from single gene perturbations from CREEDS, and lists of genes co-expressed with transcription factors from the Mayan Labs ARCHIS-4, which is a set of tens of thousands of reprocessed RNA-seq samples from CHIO. So how do we know which library we should use? Could we in fact combine libraries to improve transcription factor prediction? And if so, how? My objective was to explore these questions and try to integrate multiple libraries into the CHIA enrichment analysis. We first have to find out whether we can even combine libraries in the first place. We can see in this Venn diagram that some transcription factors are found in more than one dataset. What if, given a transcription factor, its target gene lists across different libraries are completely different? Then, combining libraries would decrease support for Chia's transcription factor predictions instead of increasing it. To check how similar the target gene lists of a transcription factor were across datasets, we performed the Fisher's exact test between every target gene list in one dataset and every target gene list in the same dataset as well as all the other ones we recorded not only the p-value, but also whether the, tra the transcription factors associated with each target gene list were the same, or a match. Since we hoped that transcription factors would have similar gene lists across libraries, hopefully many of them, when compared, would have low p-values. We do appear to see this. These are density plots. The x-axis shows the scaled ranked p-values, and the y-axis shows their densities. The blue curve represents p-values between non-matching transcription factor experiments, and the green curve represents p-values between matching ones. There seems to be a greater probability for matching transcription factors to have a low p-value than for non-matching ones. Now that we've found that we can combine libraries, we tested methods of actually doing so on different combinations of libraries, such as each individual dataset, the CHIA and ENCODE libraries, the CHIA and co-expression ones, the ENCODE and co-expression ones, and all three. We benchmarked each method and library combination against the experiments in creeds, as these were lists of differentially expressed genes that came from single gene perturbation experiments. So for the creeds experiments, we know exactly which transcription factor was responsible for the differential expression of the input genes. We tested the target gene intersection method, which used the intersection of two or more libraries as the dataset that the input gene list was compared to, the mean rank and top rank methods, which computed the p-value between the input gene list and every target gene list in the multiple libraries, ranked these p-values for each dataset, and then gave each transcription factor an aggregate rank that was either the mean rank or top rank of the ranks in the each dataset. In the multiplied p-values method, instead of ranking the p-values, the p-values themselves were aggregated. Each transcription factor received a new p-value that was the product of their p-values in the multiple libraries. So how do the methods compare? 
These density plots show that the red curve, which represents the combination of the Chia and co-expression libraries, performs the best. The bottom two methods, top rank and multiplied p-value, perform better than the upper methods. But going back to our Venn diagram, we see that the different datasets share different numbers of transcription factors with the Creed's benchmark dataset. It is possible that the success of some of the library combinations and methods were due to some of the datasets having large target gene lists, which increases the chances of their having a gene in the input gene list, or having more transcription factors in common with Creed's. So we tested the methods and library combinations again this time only on Creed's experiments associated with the 53 transcription factors found in all four datasets. The results differ. This time, the combination of the ENCODE and co-expression libraries performs the best. The top-ranked and multiplied p-value methods still outperform the others, but by a lesser margin. So we found that there is some agreement among transcription factor libraries. We've also found that libraries can be combined to improve transcription factor prediction. The combinations of the ENCODE and co-expression datasets and the CHIA and co-expression datasets did particularly well. They outperformed every individual dataset, including CHIA. In addition, the various methods for combining libraries had varying degrees of accuracy, though the top rank and multiplied p-value methods seemed to perform the best. Future work includes verifying this and using formal statistical testing to compare the methods. We also would like to implement the new CHIA as a community resource and investigate which libraries contributed most in their combinations to the correct ranks of the transcription factors. I'd like to thank Avi and Ali for more mentorship than I could have hoped for, and the rest of the lab, including my fellow summer students, for making it such a supportive environment.